everybody. Happy Saturday. Just got up. Quarter to eight. The sun is shining. Um, I'm Yeah. Saturday, yay for the weekend. We've had one week back at school, or at least four days back at school because the kids obviously had Monday off. Um, they've been fine actually, and I've been fine back at work. It's yeah, it's surprising how once you get back into routine, it's actually fine. It's not too bad. Um, yeah, it's been nice to chill though for three days off. <laughs> um, Violet's already let Peter Rabbit out and need to give him some more food. Let's cutting up Peter Rabbit's food. And yeah. I'm watching Peter Rabbit. Are you? Blood is amazing, but it keeps blooding me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna crack on with pancakes and I'm gonna make a coffee as well. Violet is finished with Peter's lunch, breakfast and dinner. <laughs> that is Peter, Peter. Got the sprinkles out. Cake's good. Really good. Brilliant. Okay. Brilliant. Kitchen clean and tidy. It's nearly 25 to 9. I'm actually going to run around with the Hoover now. I've been doing some serious tidying, hoovering the whole house, sorted out the bathroom. It's a bit of a state. Mainly Alistair uses this one. And um, yeah, change towels, bleach toilets. I've been making beds. Violet's, um, Alistair is on the wheel at the moment, so I can't really make my bed. This room still looks pretty good. I've got her clothes out. I've just been doing lots of chores. I also cleaned out Peter Rabbit's um, cage. I didn't clean it out fully. I kind of half cleaned it out. Um, it's funny because he's a house rabbit and he's, well, he's apparently six months old. Um, I was expecting like him to come into our home and then be a bit messy, you know, like rabbit droppings or, you know, because that's what the other ones were like. Obviously, they were babies though, so it's different. They weren't, they weren't house trained. But honestly, touch wood, don't want to jinx it, but he is 100% house trained. He, I've not had one accident, nothing. Yeah, he's amazing. So I basically just cleaned out half his pen because he actually has a spot where he does his business. So brilliant i mean that saves it you know the hassle as well so i cleaned out half his cage put some fresh stuff down and um violet you saw gave him some fresh food he's actually still roaming he's been roaming all morning um he actually another good thing about him actually the owner did say that he doesn't like laminate and their whole um place was laminate and he was slipping and sliding all over the place and i don't think he liked it so what's good is that he's currently in the lounge and we have a laminate here as you can see and he he actually doesn't go past this area so he doesn't he literally just stays i've put his pen this side i need to put this in the office but his pen's actually there now i've put it kind of out the way a bit more hidden um but yeah he pretty much just runs up and down here doesn't he vi he actually doesn't ever venture to the laminate which is perfect because um you know, happy that he's not roaming all over the house. You know, I don't have to get a baby gate and put it up to make sure he doesn't go everywhere else. Because obviously we're in a bungalow, so we're all on one level. Could potentially be a bunny that will just venture everywhere and I'll have to watch him, but he doesn't. So it's amazing. I'm really happy about that. Just been getting myself ready. Um, it's 20 past 10. We've had quite a chilled, I say it's actually not really chilled for me, but the kids have been, just been doing their own thing and I've been tidying and Staffing, um, just sorting out the house really. Um, I'm just making myself a cup of tea, flask to take out with me. I've packed a picnic in the bag and we are heading out for the day. Um, I was thinking about, and I did mention to the kids about taking them to a place called Charlton, Charlton Charlie's. It's um, kind of Wiltshire way, um, kind of Amesbury way. We've never been there before. It looks really, really good. I've had recommendations from friends as well. The only downside is that it's 40 minutes away. So, yeah, it's going to take us at least to 11 to even get there. Not 11, half past 11, like nearer, nearer lunchtime. But it doesn't matter. We've got the whole day. It's not like we need to rush. Um, Graham can't come. He's just too, got too much work on. He was really trying. He was up and out early this morning and he was like, I might be able to come, just like hang on a bit. And then something's come up with the cow. 
um, that's really unwell. So he's just, I just said, don't worry about it. Like there's just, I don't want to put the pressure on him to just be rushing um, when he's just got too much to do. So it's just me and the kids again, I think for this weekend. Um, but I will see him obviously when he gets back later. Um, it's just a shame really. Ready to go. Sun is shining. It is officially one degree. <laughs> It's cold. We've arrived. Hi. Um, yeah, like I said, I've never been here before. It's really quite quiet, actually. I think most people are probably having lunch, but we've come to see the sheep. They're probably, I'm sure some of them are probably ready to lamb. She looks huge. Wow. Oh. They've got their food, haven't you? Got your food to give the animal. Oh my God. Mm, so cute. Don't you? Cute. She's got twins. Very lovely. Oh, can't reach it, it's got a big really face. Swim. That's easy, I already knew that. How long are sheep and goats pregnant for? Do you know? Five months! God, that's not long. Enlarge this place. <laughs> there's a play area, there's tractor rides, that's at 12, we're going to do that. Activity pen, I think that's a soft play maybe. Oh, aren't they cute? Oh. <laughs> They're a rare breed. Oh, Rare breed. The greedy. <laughs> oh, the rabbit village. There's one in there. Goats. This is Goat Mountain. Goat Mountain. <laughs> Hello. Beauty. Boy. Bunny prison. <laughs> Look big. Oh my god, they're whopper. It's huge. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever seen a bunny that big in my life. That's oh, like um, a small dog. That's, that's bigger like, than a small dog. That is huge. That's bigger than a um. Look at the size of it. Anyway, it's really big. It's bouncy, isn't it? Whoa. It's huge. <laughs> but it goes so far down. Is it? They're called middle white pigs. Is he allowed to any They've got these? funny faces. I think you have to be very careful. Oh my goodness. Do not feed from your hands. Hello. Uh, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shall we do this woodland walk? I believe how cold it is. Like it's so really, really cold. I just, I didn't think I would have come more prepared. Like we didn't bring hats or gloves. Like my hands are freezing. I think we have to have a little pit stop in a minute. Yeah. It's plain. Do you need a hand? No. Are you sure? No. Her knees bendy apparently. I don't need it now. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Can I go with those? On express. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go! Then it's me. I'm gonna let you make it. I can make it. I know you can. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we did have a little bit of a tea break. We went into the cafe just to warm up a little bit, but they've got um, animal handling. I think they're either eating guinea pigs or something else. So we're just waiting for that. Uh, my camera is nearly about to die. So I don't know how long this is gonna last. Bit annoying. But they're having a fun time anyway. It's quite a lot here. It's all spread out. It probably would have been a bit better if it's like generally like a summer's day or something. Because then you have a picnic and the kids can just play. Because there's so much space, you know? We've got quite a few animals. <laughs> the baby goat. So normally she's Aww. a bit calm in this. I don't know what's going on. Oh, Guinea. <laughs> <laughs> Time. We're in the soft play bit. They're refueling, so they've been running around like crazy people, haven't you? Moving on the track, so far, like it's... Last one. Ready? It does say slow. This is going to go slow. Where's Michael? Right, we had a cracking day. Do you know what, we spent three and a half hours there. There are times where I just thought, oh my God, I'm so cold, I can't get through this. Um, 
but we did some walks. There's quite a few play areas. Um, went around the animals a few times, did soft play. It's quite nice and actually it's only five pounds each. So it's so worth the money. I took a picnic. The only thing we did get was a cake. Yeah. Um, yeah, a cake each. The kids got a brownie. I got an amazing coffee and walnut yeah, cake. Yeah, I had a little so Yeah, it was so good. So yeah, we're heading home. It's quarter past three. Um, Got to get back because I am out tonight. Mama is out with the mums. Mummy's night out. I'm home and um, it is 10 past four. Just got some diesel on the way home as well. Uh, I've just been sorting out a bag. I've got some parcels. Um, Bowden had a 25% 20, off. Couple, actually no, I've got one thing. Just one thing for Alistair. The one thing I got Alistair, which is 25% off. Which is something he really needs actually. Like spring summer coats. He's got loads of, he's got a couple of thick coats. But the thinner ones that he's got, and they look a bit ridiculous. One of them, the zip's broken. And then the sleeves are like up here. Um, so I got him, this is quite large. I got it in the age 11 to 12. Only because he's got a nine to 10 in Bowdoin of a coat and it's not even that big. I mean, it's big, but it's not massive. So I got him this sort of cotton lined jacket. So how smart is that? I love that. God, I actually think that would fit me. <laughs> Eleven to twelve. There we go. <laughs> it's a bit. Yeah. I know. It's a bit short. It's going to be quite big on him, but it will be worth it, and it will last. I've just had a shower. I'm actually going to have to put you on charge. It's five to five. I am going out to watch Fifty Shades. Freed. I was going to say darker. Freed. Um, Graham's back, and he's just. He actually bought the, um, the Greatest Showman album. <laughs> he bought it from eBay. We've been listening to it in the car as well because I've got it on my phone. We're a little bit obsessed at the moment. So I'm going to do some editing, put this on charge and I've got a nice cup of tea as well. I have been getting ready. The family have been to Coop, Coop, to get dinner. They're having dinner. They chose their own things. So this is, oh that's Alistair's isn't it? He got a lasagna because that's what he really likes. Is this yours, Grey? Yeah. Liver and bacon with mash. <laughs> I'm such a bad wife, aren't what? I? What? I'm going out for dinner and they're having ready meals. Is he you sharing beans? No, Alice is having it. No, I'm sharing beans. I'm sharing No added beans. sugar. That's always good. And then Violet, she has got mac and cheese. No, she hasn't. What's she, what's she, what's she, what's she, what's she, she's got a pizza and then we're sharing the mac and cheese. Oh, you're sharing the mac and cheese no, and then not. she's got a mini no, pizza. Pudding. Who chose that? Uh, my analysis. We're not sharing. You are so cheeky. I bet you you wouldn't. You barely have a mouthful. Pity so will be enough for you. I've been getting ready. Alistair's got the music back on. They're going to be having a disco tonight. I'll show you what I'm wearing. So this mirror is actually going to be going on the wall here, but I can just kind of show you. So a little bit. Okay. So this dress. You might have seen it. I've had it for years. I've had it for quite a few years, at least two, um, from Topshop. I really like it because it's got a high neck. It's actually really quite thick. Uh, you can wear this daytime and I dress it up for evening. I've got this really nice necklace on, which actually my friend got me for my birthday, um, which is really pretty. It's got like a little heart on it. I don't know if you can see that. How cute is that? She got me that for my birthday. So yeah, this is pretty much my outfit. I've got some tights on and then my boots are my next sale boots. Yes. Curled my hair. Yes. My hair kind of is quite naturally quite straight and flat so I have to kind of ruch up a bit but I don't really like putting product in it so just so I can have it you know fresh tomorrow. You miss me. <laughs> I'm going to have chiquitos tonight with the mummies. No. Yes I cannot wait and I'm gonna have a cocktail. Oh yes. If you don't see me tomorrow, I may be hanging. <gasps> lip mark, lip mark. <laughs>